Hi guys, welcome to my third vlog on my channel Just Yopping. And my dog Sadie seems to be interested in this shoot right now, so forgive me if I'm pinning her. Uh, like I had said in my last vlog, uh, Sundays uh, are going to be mostly uh, spiritual, um, spiritual in a spiritual nature. So this week was um, pretty straightforward, uh, productive, that sort of thing. But yesterday and today were amazing spiritual experiences. Yesterday, um, Saturdays, I usually go to Mass with my parents. Um, they go to St. Ignatius here in Sacramento. And the priests there are Jesuit trained. So from what I understand, um, the way that they interpret the scripture and the way that they share um, with others is um, pretty specific analytical, but also um, very um, down to earth. Uh, I like all the priests there, but uh, yesterday's was a father that I hadn't heard before, so I was excited to uh, hear what he had to say. The scripture was about, the gospel I should say, but the scriptures too. Uh, the gospel in particular was about um, two disciples who didn't believe that Jesus uh, was resurrected. So, um, he correlated, uh, Father correlated the disbelief um, of theirs uh, as a, their journey with Jesus to us as humans, um, our uh, journey, um, either disbelief in our life or disbelief in our faith. Um, the fact that he used a journey as the crux um, or the main pieces of his sermon um, hit me. Um, as some of you may know, um, if you've uh, gone to my blog, I have read that um, I correlate the last five years um, as a journey uh, for me. It just felt like a sign um, that hearing Father talking about journeys um, is a sign that I'm uh, in the right direction with my uh, vlogs and the direction um, where I'm taking my blog and my all my other social media uh, platforms. It was just so, so empowering. And today, my beloved brother cousin, brother cousin, L. Lawrence invited me to be a part of uh, the 100th anniversary of his uh, friend's passing, uh, Jeff. And uh, Jeff, I had only met him twice. Uh, but the, our very first meeting uh, was at Lawrence's house. There was something about him that was humbling and deep and inspiring that I knew that I wanted to sit down and have a rambling conversation with him. And I believe the conversation started with, um, he's, he was an engineer. Um, government, I believe, and they sent him to Saudi Arabia after the Gulf War, um, Lawrence, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, to help rebuild, um, rebuild. And that topic of conversation just spiraled into a depth and wealth of um, topics of uh, humanity, of um, spirituality, of uh, living life to the fullest. I mean, just tick, name, name, name them all. And I walked away from that conversation um, thankful that I was able to, to share time uh, with him. Um, he inspired and empowered me. And I wanted to um, talk with him more. And that would probably be one of the regrets that I have. But um, how blessed I was to be able to have, at least have that with him. Uh, the second time I saw him, was after, I believe, um, it was, uh, they found um, brain tumors um, in him. And uh, this is about a couple years ago. Yeah, two, about two years ago. A um, year ago, two years ago. Um, but I saw him last year, so it was found two years ago. Um, and they operated, and he um, had a full recovery. So when I saw him, um, at that time, he was working out, he was going about daily life. I even think he might have gone back to work. Uh, but when I saw him again, it, there was that warmth and that humbleness and 
I just wanted to be around his energy. Um, sadly, that was the last time I saw him. He passed away um, this year. So uh, I was invited by Lawrence to um, be a part of his 100th anniversary, of his 100th day anniversary of his passing. And uh, Jeff was Buddhist, so it was at a Buddhist temple. And Lawrence knows me. Hi, he, he knows my journey right now is spiritual. And he thought I would just love being a part of this. And he was correct. Um, I've never been to a Buddhist temple. And it was all in Thai. But uh, I believe I was led to be there today because I, I, I want to go back to be a part of however I can be a part of um, this temple and, and just kind of be um, research or, or involve myself more in um, Buddhism. They believe in reincarnation, which is something that um, has uh, played a lot in my life the last week. It just, uh, it was uh, grounding to be there today. I'll probably allude uh, more uh, to my experience today uh, on my blog, um, my spiritual blog, which will be on Friday. Um, but just like last week, there always seems to be key moments um, that kind of material materialize into my life that just kind of move me for more forward in my spiritual journey. So I'm excited to see what happens this week. Uh, Wednesday, I have an appointment. Reading, cleansing of, um, I think I'll be to that in my last vlog, of my chakras and my energy. Um, so that would probably be major as well. Uh, but uh, thanks for coming along and you guys have a great week. See you next Sunday.